Are you saying you don't believe in me? No. Look, you're red and puffy and all. Oh, well, I am sorry that I don't look pretty while I am trying to win a car. You know what? Forget it. I am done talking to you. I have to stay here, but in my mind, I am storming away. Well, in my mind, I'm chasing you. Well, in my mind, I'm too fast and you can't catch me. Well, in my mind, I caught up and I'm holding you in my arms, kissing you. Well, in my mind, I am enjoying your warm embrace, but I am fighting you off because I don't want to be held right now. Fine. In my mind, I'm giving up and taking off. You do realize you can actually do that? I do now. I am here on set with the star of the hit show, The Middle, John Gammon. Hello, how are you? I'm very good, how are you? I'm pretty awesome despite the heavy wind. Yeah. Well, we're gonna get through this. Let's do so, this. So, John, you're on The Middle, uh -huh. right? But I was reading that you knew you wanted to be an actor at the age of three or four. About three or four, yeah. How is that possible? Because that's a baby. Because I that's... was the baby of a family. Everybody was making me perform all the time. I had uh, three siblings. They always wanted me to do weird, crazy stuff. They always wanted to get me to make them laugh. One of the first, probably my first act was just like a simple thing. They were like, hey, 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 get up in the crib. They'd get me get up, get up in the crib and like, do the face, do the face. I would do this crazy thing and like I even had pictures of it. They told me about it all the time. I was like, I don't remember any of that stuff. Clearly, I and make they my daughter a do a face, it. and she does it right. She does it. She does like the, my daughter's intense, and she'll just be like, maybe because she's Puerto Rican. I don't know. Maybe. But I don't know. so they will make you do the face, <laughs> and then this continued into this continued all throughout school. I played a lot of sports. Cleveland and the Catholic schools that I went to there, they didn't really emphasize much on the arts, uh, but a lot on sports. So I just kept being a goof and acting out in both good and bad ways uh, in my uh, own kind of private life. But I kind of just sort of, I kind of picked it back up when I was in high school and uh, thought to myself, you know, I'll, I'll go after, you know, some acting class here and there. And they only had something called the Harlequins. My sister who's an actress too. She was like, you need to join the thespians, join the thespians. I was like, all right, there's no thespians. They're called the Harlequins and they do music theater. I'm not into that. Like I thought we were going to be doing like, death of a salesman, you know, long day's journey into night, <laughs> like some good Tennessee Williams stuff, but they don't, that's that's few and far between it for many high schools. So then you're in Cleveland, how do you make that jump and saying, okay, this is it, I'm going to become an actor. Did you come straight to LA? No, the jump the jump was super gradual. It was like in high school, all right, I'll, I'll keep doing my thing. I'll, I'll go to college. I got a, I got a good scholarship uh, to Loyola in New Orleans. And I was like, I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna go off and get an education, get my degree, and kind of see if I can uh, go for some acting there. And I did, sure enough, junior and senior years. Uh, I took a couple classes, and I knew that was exactly what had been boiling in me my whole life, and was like, wow, since this the crib, is, since the crib, since the crib, <laughs> the crib, back at the crib, yeah. Like it was, it was just the way for me to be. I was, I, I had both my sister and my brother-in-law at the time living out here in L.A. and my brother James, uh, who still lives here, and was like, I have family out here, and I, I need to do this when I graduate, so. So The Middle, it's a hit show. What was that process like, you know, auditioning for, as an, I'm an actor as well as we were just discussing, so it can be kind of daunting. What was it for you when you got the audition and that whole process? Yeah, it can be daunting and super long, but The Middle was super fast, it, because they, they didn't know how, uh, Nobody knows, you know, how many seasons you're gonna get picked up for, and we were no different from that situation. But I went in on technically three different meetings. The first was for just like a, a throwaway one, one or two line deal. Kid's name was like Trevor or something, you know. The character that you played. The the character that I went out for. That you went out for. Okay. Didn't get, but I did see the casting director that night in the grocery store parking lot, and I did get to shake his hand. And uh, if you don't know anything about the auditioning process, like you, you don't do that, you, you don't, don't do shake, that. No you don't shake, cross no that. Hands. But don't but you, you try? Said, but yeah, I'm going I, in. I uh, <laughs> shook his hand, and he was like, "Oh, you were great today, you know. Finished second. I was like, "Oh," and he's like, "But this is good because you know if we got some better stuff to come by down the pipe. We'll uh, we'll call you." And I didn't I didn't believe him. So yeah. then you get that call. Well, I actually didn't get a call. This is this this is the times we live in. I uh, looked them up on Facebook. I had access to the breakdowns. I saw Darren, Jock, not the sharpest tool in the shed. I was like, "This is me." 
And so I Facebook him. I'm like, gee, uh, his name is G. Charles Wright. What's up with this character? You think you can call me in on it? He's like, I was just about to call you. And this is the casting director. This is the casting director. And sure enough, like about an hour later, my agent called me. He was like, you need to go in on this. The Middle is technically my first gig. And it just has just kept coming and coming. And that's, you know. that's a blessing for that to be your first gig. I yeah. mean, you have to say. But other than being an actor, I do know that you do a lot of uh, charity work and volunteer work. Yeah. Can you tell us about that? Well, right now I'm in the process of uh, training my dog for uh, for an organization's uh, standards called Love on Four Paws, and basically my dog comes to hospitals and uh, sits on uh, the beds of patients who've either had intense surgery or who are terminally ill, and that acts as a kind of uh, uh, therapeutic experience. Obviously, you know, really, people that, people that have dogs, people that have cats, like. Being able to just sit down with them and pet them for a long time just makes you feel way better. Now, yeah. what kind of dog do you have? I have a Staffordshire Bull Terrier. So if anybody sees it, they think it's just, it's a smaller pit bull. And pit bulls are great too, but technically he's a Staffy Bull Terrier, SBT. I have a teacup chihuahua. Oh, okay. How? She's actually from Burbank. Well, is she nice? She's gorgeous. Yeah, they can and, her be tough. and her name is Bambi. No, no, I think because she's from California, but if she was like from New York, she'd be very feisty. She'd be picking up on you. She would be, yeah, she would. <laughs> and why this particular charity? I like them just because, you know, like I get a lot out of having my dog. He's my first dog ever. Uh, it's, it's, he's a great dog and I, and I get a lot out of petting him. You know, like we, we sleep together every night in the bed and I'd like to be able to, you know, give that to people who really need it as opposed to just me. But I work mo mostly with uh, an organization called Vista Del Mar. They work with, they, they place more of the promising kids who are in the foster care system on their campus here in West LA. And they uh, get them ready to, I guess, it's kind of like a higher track for them. It's kind of like the advanced courses that would be offered to, you know, your average high school students, you know, uh, so that they have like a better place when they hit the ground running at 18 to go out in the world and and uh, make their dreams come true. So do you go in there and, and just work with them? Do you give like acting lessons or is it just more, is it separate from the acting? Well, it's it's separate from the acting, but that's what most people, well, that's what I'm gonna talk about today in T minus an hour and a half. I'm gonna oh, go nice. down in there and uh, basically give them a talk because they're having a great little uh, ceremony today. They're giving out, um, they're giving out awards for people, for their students who've exemplified one of any six pillars of character. So they've got fairness, caring, a whole bunch of other uh, character pillars that if, that any one of these students have uh, have been able to exemplify more than than the rest. And I'm going to give a talk and just say like, hey, even if you even if you're like if you're like me, you probably didn't win any of these <laughs> when you were in high school. But still, that doesn't that doesn't mean anything. You can still, go off and do the best you possibly can. And you know, look, I. This is where I'm at. I know you can do it, you know. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for being here Thank and doing the work that me. you do. John Gammon, The Middle. Continue to watch that show because it's, it's a hit and it's funny. And we will see you soon.